All right, what's up everyone? So it's uh, Saturday, June 10th, and I am with P-Dog back there, and we just got done with gymnastics, or she got done with gymnastics. I can't do gymnastics. Why? Why? Because I'm old and I'm a man. <laughs> and I cannot do anything that coordinated. Uh, we are going to Barnes and Noble because I saw that there's a really, really cool pop that I want right now. And that pop is a Barnes and Noble exclusive Lord of the Rings Frodo. And he's in like the, uh, I forgot what they call it when he puts the, the thing on and he's um, invisible. Um, Shadow Realm? No, am I not even close? Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So we are all done at Barnes & Noble. We actually already made our way back home. Uh, I didn't buy anything, but I bought a uh, Beauty and the Beast Bell Dorbs for P-Dog back there. Uh, she freaked out when she saw that, so that was uh, something she really wanted. They had that uh, seven-figure Justice League DC Icons pack there for $100, which is a great deal if you think about it, because those are like $20 to $25 figures each. I know they don't come with any accessories in that multi-pack, but that comes out to like 14 bucks per figure. And um, Barnes & Noble, <laughs> I just saw it hovering over my shoulder. This is the one that I got her, Belle. I bought the Blu-ray for them also recently. So basically, yeah, it comes out to $14 per figure. And Barnes & Noble often has coupons for like 20% off your purchase. So if you can get that thing for 80 bucks, that's almost like $10 a figure. That's a great deal. So uh, if I can get like a 20% off coupon off a single item for Barnes & Noble, I might go back there and uh, pick up that seven pack because that's a, that's a good deal. You get all seven members of the Justice League uh, in that DC icon scale, which is awesome. Um, so I asked about the Frodo. First of all, the lady said, are you looking for anything in particular? Because I kept wandering around the pops. And uh, she said, can I help you find something? And I said, I'm looking for a specific pop. It's a Barnes and Noble. And then she kind of cut me off and said, is it the Lord of the Rings one? I'm like, yeah. She goes, we haven't gotten them yet. I'm like, okay, well that's good. And I said, I said, is there any way that I could still order it online? She goes, nope, you can't order it online. We're not, we're not sure when we're gonna get it. So the tone that she had kind of told me that a lot of people have been calling about it. I'm not sure uh, how successful I'm going to be in acquiring that pop. What made my trip, though, was the fact that she said, yeah, some guy ordered 10 of them off our site, and we looked at it, and we're like, I don't think so, and they, can <laughs> they canceled his order. <laughs> so they just stuck it to a scalper, because no person orders 10 of that damn pop. It was a damn scalper, a reseller, a flipper. I actually started laughing a little bit when she said, we just canceled it, and she looked at me like I was kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, so the Frodo, it, it'll probably show up at some point in that Barnes & Noble. I'm not going to be able to check every single day, so I'm not confident I'm going to get it. It's it's probably going to be along the lines of that Bloody Negan pop that was like there for one day, and they got two of them. So I guess I probably will not get that pop. It looks really cool, though. I saw some of the guys on the Syndicate page picked up that pop looks really awesome for a clear pop but um congrats to you guys for finding that one um i'll continue to search for that one but i'm not i'm not confident i'm going to find it but i just thought it was hilarious that they canceled that scalper's order <laughs> but anyway that's it for now um we're going to go inside i'm going to open her her door and um we're going to go pick out a dog we're going to northeast ohio today to meet our our new little addition to our family our, our new puppy dog so we're gonna, puppy dog. we're gonna get a we're picking them out and then we're gonna go pick them up in like two or three weeks so i'll see you guys later see you either from the nerd bar or from another hunt but i'll see you later bye oh, oh. <laughs> he's playful he's an instigator <laughs> he'll fit in nicely <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
Hey, what's up guys? It's Sissy Nerd and it is Monday, June 12th. And I'm gonna share something with you guys that I've never shown before. It's a ceremonial moving of a figure to make room for a new Hot Toys figure. So I just checked Sideshow um, to see if my Drax was shipping on time tomorrow on Tuesday. And it says it's actually gonna be here today, Monday. So I'm anxiously awaiting my doorbell to ring so I can run upstairs, get my Drax, and put him in my case. So I'm gonna be making some room. You could see my uh, guardians down there. There's Star-Lord, Rocket, and Gamora. Uh, Groot is up there with my other taller figures. So I'm gonna make some room for good old Drax. He's gonna be going uh, in with Rocket, and Gamora's gonna be shacking up with Star-Lord. So again, I've never shared this before, this is uh, a very, very fun experience for me when I get a new Hot Toy figure. So I'm currently moving Star-Lord over. I've got Gamora. She is moving in, sharing a little detolf space with Star-Lord. I think they look good together. That looks okay. And then there's a big old empty spot for Mr. Dave Bautista. I think that looks pretty good. Here's a little preview of episode 150. Again, episode 150, I'm gonna be doing something special, showing you all of my Hot Toys figures. There's all the Marvel ones. And uh, I got the Star Wars in two other cabinets, and got the DC in uh, two other cabinets over there. So there's the DC, there's the Star Wars. Oh! What are you guys doing in there? Drago and Rocky are having a little fight in this uh, empty spot, which I'm going to be using for a soon-to-be announced new Star Wars Hot Toys figure. Just heard my doorbell ring. I think he's here. You're home, buddy. You're finally home. Hey, what's up everyone? So it's uh, Tuesday. I'm doing a late lunchtime hunt. It's two o'clock and uh, I'm actually headed to uh, Best Buy right now. Kind of discovered the secret for getting a steel book because those steel books sell out at these Best Buys because apparently they're hot commodities now and freaking people like to scalp them. But I did something today. So I went to Best Buy's website I knew that the Lego Batman movie and John Wick 2 were both coming out, and they both have Best Buy exclusive steelbook versions. So this morning at like, I don't know, it was like 7.30 or 8, I think, I went to their website and I ordered them, and I had it uh, do the store pickup as the option for shipping, as opposed to paying for shipping, because store pickup is free. Going inside Best Buy now to pick these up, and then I might head over to Target and or Walmart to see what they got. I am still looking for the 40th anniversary Star Wars figures, and then uh, I also need another one of these magnetic holders for Mrs. Cincy. She wants one for her car, so I'll see you inside. I am all done at Best Buy and I picked up my uh, Steelbook Blu-ray Best Buy exclusives. They had uh, zero on the shelf of John Wick 2, but I did have this one on reserve for me behind the counter. So very happy to pick that one up. And uh, they had three left of these on the shelf. So um, yeah, there's still a few of these left, but these were sold the F out. I have a feeling that these are gonna sell out at a lot of Best Buy. So again, if there's a movie that you really want the Steelbook version of, uh, I should have done this with Logan. Go to bestbuy.com, see if you can order it on there before they open, and uh, hopefully they can do the uh, store pickup so you don't have to pay shipping. But uh, yeah, got those two. Uh, I'm probably gonna head to Target right now, possibly GameStop, possibly Walmart. But uh, I'll see you guys soon.
all done at Target. I did not buy anything. There's a few things that I was thinking about buying, but I didn't pick anything up. Um, I just got Mrs. Cincy her phone holder for her car, so she's got one of those now. The ones that I was thinking about buying were the um, Titans Return, Top Spin, Titans Return Quake, and uh, Kickback. I don't have any of the uh, Hasbro Insecticons by Titans Return, so I was thinking about getting the Kickback, but I didn't buy anything. Uh, oh, the other thing I was thinking about buying was that Hawkman. The one that no one wants from the Multiverse Wave. I'm going to eventually need to buy that one at some point so I can uh, complete King Shark. Because I got to say, that King Shark looks freaking awesome. I have seen King Shark. He's huge also. Uh, but he looks really, really cool. I cannot wait to build that Build-A-Figure or Collect and Connect or whatever the hell DC calls him. But it looks good. Um, I'm not sure why no one's buying the Hawkman though. It's, I mean, people need him to finish that build. I'm gonna go to Walmart, see if they got anything. I'm really hunting for those 40th Star Wars figures. I didn't even catch it on film, but Target had like six Leia's. So I'm not sure why they did an entire case of Leia's, but I've heard that that's the reasoning behind so many 40th Leia's on the pegs, is they did an entire case of Leia's, which doesn't really make sense to me. Wouldn't you do an entire case of the figure that is short packed in the first wave, which would be R2 and Han? Wouldn't you do like a supplemental case of just R2s and Hans? I don't get it. done at Walmart and uh, they did not have any 40th anniversary Star Wars figures uh, well they had Darth Vader but that's about it they didn't have any of the ones I was looking for though uh, they did have some remnants of the Spider-Man homecoming wave Beetle and Tombstone uh, I did get a package in the mail though I got a uh, Amazon package I got a WWE elite figure I got Shane O'Mac so he came in the mail today and I'm actually expecting to get Another package in the mail from Amazon tomorrow. Something that I ordered April the 23rd. And yes, I know it's July 13th. So we're almost like, what, three months out since I ordered this thing? But uh, yeah, apparently it came on the slow boat from Japan <laughs> because uh, they shipped it out like within a few days of me ordering it. And it has taken over two and a half months to get to the United States. But it is a... Star Wars Mafex Boba Fett figure. I've heard from a lot of people that that figure is a very, very good figure, not just for Boba Fett, but just a great figure in general. So I'm looking forward to seeing it, but uh, I should get it tomorrow. So I will share that uh, from the Nerd Bar. I'll share the Shano Mac as well, but uh, thanks for joining me and I'll see you guys soon. Hey, what's up everyone? So it's uh, Tuesday the 13th, uh, the evening. I just picked up P-Dog from uh, Gymnastics. She said she wanted to go to Toys R Us really, really bad, but we don't have time because Toys R Us is like not very close to us. I really wish we had one closer. But uh, then she said she wanted a cookie and her favorite cookies are at Barnes & Noble. I was not planning on going here. So we stopped at Barnes & Noble to get her a cookie and I stopped by the Pops and I found this! Look at that! BAM! Got the Barnes & Noble exclusive Frodo. Freaking awesome. It's clear. It's completely clear. That is so freaking cool. But uh, I just totally lucked out. Thanks in big part to P-Dog back there wanting a cookie. So thank you P-Dog for wanting to go to Barnes & Noble because I found something I was looking for. I have cut back drastically I would say on my pop purchases not because I don't like them I still really really like pops it's just the fact that other things are consuming my wallet specifically my new addiction for Mezco's uh, NECA producing some awesome awesome stuff uh, Marvel Legends Black Series my pops have been the one that have kind of taken the hit uh, as far as my purchases but there's certain ones where I see them, like that Tony the Tiger, which is number one on my grail list right now. 
and this one uh, that I just gotta have because they're so cool looking and they're from a property that I really, really enjoy. So really, really happy that I picked that one up. Thank you again, P-Dog, for forcing me to get you a cookie here. We are headed back home right now. I'll see you guys in the next hunt.